What started off as a personal project has gained a lot of interest and I've received several requests to sell this. What you see here is a 3D printed duct with a 3 inch outlet using PET-G filament designed specifically for the 2014 to 2016 Scion TC bumper. I'll show you how to make it go from a fresh print to a finished install in this video. Please note, I take no responsibility for how you use this bumper duct. Just be smart about your intake design and how you drive in wet weather. Have a way to disconnect it easily if there are concerns about hydro locking. All three intake setups that I show you later in this video can be quick disconnected in less than two seconds if the need arises. Now you can install the duct as is, or you can wet sand it smooth so there's no lines using 100 or 200 grit sandpaper. Now there may be some minor imperfections as you sand it down, but that can be easily fixed using Rust-Oleum filler primer. Here it is after a light coat. I'm going to let this dry, then wet sand it with 600 grit sandpaper. You can see the filler primer left behind in the recessed spots. Keep repeating the process of paint, dry, and wet sand until it's smooth. I had one spot that was a little too deep for the filler primer, so I used a little Bondo to fill it in and then sanded it smooth. Once it's dry, I'll wipe the entire thing down with alcohol and then give it a few light coats with Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint. And here's the finished result, nice and smooth and ready to install. I also gave the grill a good sanding, but I want to have a more matte look to match the bumper trim, so I'm using that black stuff trim restorer to dye the plastic the same shade of black. It does take 24 hours for this stuff to cure before it can get wet. Before I start cutting holes in my bumper cover, I grabbed a white sharpie paint pen and marked where the metal bumper behind the cover ends. You can see my marking here. This is to make sure that I don't position the duct in front of it. I've got the bumper off so I can place the duct behind it and find out where it sits flush. I don't want to cross the line I drew too much, but there's a bit of leeway since the outlet is offset to the side. You want to have about an inch and a half clearance above for the headlight. I'm going to position it until it's flush all around, making sure it's also straight. Then I'll mark all the holes with my sharpie. Now I'm going to take this template I made and line it up to make sure all the holes are properly marked. Future templates will have a T recessed at the top. The T should be facing you when you're behind the bumper. Now I'll take my center hole punch to indent the bumper so the drill won't walk when I make my holes with an eighth inch drill bit. Now I'm making sure the holes still line up on the front. Again, the T on the template should be at top, but facing away from you now. I've used my step drill bit to increase the holes to a quarter inch. I used the bit on both sides so that I had nice clean holes. Now we want to bolt the template into place so it can't move. I'm going to use my Dremel with a routing bit at full speed to cut a hole out that goes to the edge of the template. I've drilled a starter hole, and you can see where I used the Dremel to start cutting the hole close to the template edge. I'm almost done. I had to stop a few times to clear melted plastic off my router bit. And here's our opening. If I installed the grill right now, I'd see this white edge. We don't want that. I'm going to use the drum sander attachment at low to medium speed to slowly enlarge the hole to the edge of the template maybe even half a millimeter past. That looks pretty good. I'm going to use the sanding drum and just go around the edge to smooth it out. I've got the grill and duct in place. It looks like I may need to enlarge the hole a little more at the bottom though. When I attached the lock nuts on back, I started with this bolt first because of how tight it is on the back side, then this one, then the other tight space one before doing the other three. Do not over tighten. This is what the final design that I plan to sell will look like. Once you have this installed, you can route it however you like. In my case, I have it connected to an enclosed Apollo intake filter. I had to 3D print a new backing so it fit my K&N Typhoon intake inlet because the outlet on the Apollo was too small. It looks great and I have had no issues even in heavy rainstorms. I'm currently testing an adapter that replaces the factory airbox snorkel with a 3 inch inlet. This is the perfect upgrade for anyone still running the factory airbox or even the TRD intake. PET-G should be fine for this, but if not, I'm testing out ASA filament. Here's another custom setup I did for someone using various 3D printed adapters. This design allows you to supplement an existing intake with cooler air without any risk of hydro locking. Despite having an open air filter, I still witnessed lower air intake temperatures when moving and quicker heat soak recovery times. For anyone without fog lights that doesn't want to cut a hole in their bumper, I'll see if I can make a fog light duct. If you plan on using a duct this low though, I don't recommend an enclosed setup like mine as it will be at higher risk for hydro locking. I'll have additional info about my bumper intake duct in the video description below. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now. And as always, thank you for watching.